my channel. So, it's payday, which means it's grocery day. I'm at Baker's now, so stay tuned and I will give you a grocery haul when I get home. I have about 80 items, so you, you don't want to miss this haul. It's a big one. Later. All right, guys, we have made it home, unloaded, and brought it all upstairs. Hopefully everything's good to go. I know we did get a few buns that got a little damaged in the process, but I think we have everything. Um, they did have a couple substitute of items, so I will try to remember to tell you, and I'll try my best at pricing. Um, the receipts are a little weird. So, and they're hard to find things, so I will do my best at pricing, but let's go ahead and turn you guys around and jump right into this haul. All right, guys, so I'm just going to start on one end of the table and work my way down. Um, to start off, we got some bottled water. Uh, these were $2 a case, just regular water. Um, we do have softball that will be starting back up, so this was definitely going to be a necessity. Um... I picked up juice for the kids. They were three for five dollars. Um, I buy this because, I don't know, to give them a different variety between milk and water. And then they usually drink this with their noon meal. So there's that. And then I did pick up some baby carrots. I cannot remember for the life of me what were these, like a dollar ninety nine or something. Um, but the kids like these a lot. They eat them with ranch. And then I did pick up some Gatorade. These were 69 cents a piece. Um, I got a couple different flavors here. This one's crisp and cool. No, okay. Glacier cherry. And we got strawberry watermelon. And then I also picked up Gr Glacier Freeze. So, again, I got... Four of the the three kinds um, because I have four kids so those were 69 cents when you buy 10 I bought 12 so they were all 69 cents um, then next up they Baker's is doing their if you didn't know Baker's is a part of the Kroger umbrella family umbrella <laughs> um, so it's basically a Kroger but anyway um, they have uh, Downy and Tide, buy five, save five dollars. Um, and then I also had, if you spend forty dollars, you get a ten, you get ten dollars off your total purchase. Um, we had a little bit of an issue with that because they had to substitute some stuff through this. I'll show you here in a second, though. Um, but anyway, so I did just pick up five Downies. They were four ninety nine a piece. And then I picked up, um, I ordered Tide in this size. Um, which these are kind of the littler ones, which is fine, but, um, the ounce, the price per ounce was better buying it this size than it was buying the bigger ones. So I did order five of them. It looks like they only had three in stock and then they substituted, um, for this one here. So oop, I'm going to drop stuff here. <laughs> um, unfortunately my coupon didn't come off. I'm not 100% sure why, because it looked like price-wise it was all there, um, because buying 10, even though they substituted these for this, which this costs more, so it still should have been $40 without an issue. Um, but they went ahead and took it off. There was no no issues. The manager was extremely nice. He took it right off for me. No no questions asked. So I just showed him the coupon on my, on my Baker's app. So anyway... The four ninety nine, then minus the ten dollar off coupon, so that was a really good deal on Tide. I think it was like nine cents an ounce or something. I don't remember what the downy was, but anyway, I like to stock up when they have sales like that. We were getting down to like one bottle of each, and I don't want to run out of laundry detergent. Nobody does. <laughs> um, alrighty, so then I also picked up tampons because I had a two dollar off coupon there. Um, we don't, or, well, I should say we haven't been buying pop for quite a while. Um, we are getting ready to do something exciting, and so we need the pop for that. Um, you guys will see that in a later video, but for now, we did buy pop. It was four for ten dollars, so I did buy, um, two of each kind. 
I actually drink diet um, Pepsi. Um, I ordered diet Pepsi and they substituted it with this. So, but that's fine because I'll probably still drink this. Um, I just don't, it's just really sweet. So I don't know. I probably won't drink as much, which is fine. Probably better that way anyway. <laughs> um, and then I also picked up um, some hash browns. I picked up two bags of those. We have some ground pork sausage in our freezer, so I was going to make hash brown casserole with these. Um, I'm not sure if I made a video on that or not. I will, If I did, I will link it. If I didn't, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that recipe. All right, and then I also picked up some broccoli florets. My kids like the little tree tops, not the tree trunk, I guess. <laughs> um, I did buy bigger bags. I bought the bigger bags that they usually have. They must not have had them, so they substituted them with these steamables, which, which is fine. It's just I probably would have bought four of these instead of two big bags. You know, the two big bags equal about four of these little bags, but they just substitute them with the four little ones. That's... Which is fine. We will make it work. <laughs> um, and then also we picked up pickles. These are a staple in our household. And my children ate all of them and I didn't know it. So last time we needed them, I didn't have any. And so I needed I needed to stock back up. So these are the Velastic Zesty Bread and Butter Chips. You guys, these are amazing. If you haven't had them, they were my absolute favorite and my kids' favorite. I did buy two of these. They were not on sale. I don't even remember. I don't know. Maybe they were like 3 or $4. I don't know. I didn't look at the price of them since they're a staple. Um, and then next up, we bought some Hormel chili. Um, I have had a craving for chili dogs. I don't know why. So we bought, well, I bought um, four of those. So we can make some chili dogs. These were on sale too. Maybe two for three dollars something. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. But that's my favorite chili for chili dogs, to be honest. So, um, And then let's actually move on to... We got um, two dozen large eggs. These were not on sale, but they are a staple in our household. Because we go through a lot of eggs. <laughs> um, and then... And if you guys can see here, I did buy some boneless, skinless chicken breast. I bought two packages of those. Um, I'm trying to slowly stock up. There is a limit of two, but you guys, I can't even find hamburger for under $5 a pound. And usually I buy it for $1.99 a pound or less. So I just, I can't, I can't afford to pay $5 a pound. That's just ridiculous. So we're going to be eating a lot of chicken meals, so I've been trying to stock up, even though I'm only allowed two. Anyway, $1.99 a pound, um, and I got two packages of them, which I would guess they're about $9 or $10 per package. So, um, And then we also got some bread. This bread is super cheap, but we eat a lot of bread, like whether it's toast, PB&Js. You know, I don't know. We eat a lot of bread. <laughs> so these are um, 89 cents a loaf. I'm so glad because they were out of stock of them for a very long time. So I'm glad they got those back in stock. Um, and then we also picked up some hot dog buns. Um, again, I was craving um, chili dogs. So we picked up some hot dog buns. These are actually not the ones I ordered, but they substituted these, which is perfectly fine. They look good. I've never had a Hawaiian hot dog bun before so I'm kind of excited to try that because I like Hawaiian rolls so and then I picked up some hamburgers for I'm going to make um oh shoot what is that called oh um Nashville hot chicken sandwiches I do have that video I will try to remember to link it up above here um or maybe even down in the description so you guys can check that out if you haven't already um my kids love it. I love it. So, uh-oh, sirens. <laughs> um, hopefully, wherever they're headed, the person is okay. Um, anyway, these did not survive the trip very well, guys. They're kind of a bit squished, especially, especially this one here. But, I mean, <laughs> they're a little squished. Um, this is why... 
we teach our kids to probably put groceries in the car. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, not a problem. They're still edible. It's still the same, right? Even with a squished bun. All right, moving on. I did buy five gallons of milk. Usually I buy four. However, um, they have dropped the price on these. They're $1.69 um, a gallon and we will go through it. With everybody home, well, obviously, except for Fred, everybody's home. Summer has officially started as of today, so, and the kids have been home for the past three months. Anyway, um, we definitely will go through this. We might even have to buy a gallon or two more. So, there's that. And then, moving on here, <coughs> excuse me. I did pick up some mild and mozzarella or mild cheddar and mozzarella cheese. Um, these were on sale for $1.88 for what is this? Um, a two cup package. So we go through a lot of cheddar and a, and a lot of mozzarella, guys. So I did go ahead and get four each here. Um, and then also they had their slices on sale as well for $1.88. So I picked up some provolone. Um, to go, we have some deli ham that I picked up at Sam's Club the other day. So my kids like provolone with their ham sandwiches. And then these will also go on our Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. So next I also picked up these maple pork sausages. I've not had them before, but one, they smell amazing. Like I can smell the maple in them <laughs> just holding them here. But I went ahead and picked up two of these um, where we aren't going to be able to eat a whole lot of beef right now other than what we already have stocked up. I figured we're going to be doing a lot of breakfast. So these will be good for, for breakfast for dinner nights. All right, guys. And then I picked up some butter here. These were a dollar on sale for $1.99 a pound. We go through a lot of butter. I do not like using margarine if I don't have to. Um, so I buy real butter. These, again, were $1.99 on sale. And I think I had a digital coupon as well. If I remember right. If you bought two, I think there was like 80 cents off. So I got a few of those. We already do have some stocked up. So I'm just kind of replenishing our stock that we already have. Um, and then I also picked up some sweet corn, um, canned sweet corn, I should say. We are completely out of corn altogether, and our local farmer's markets have not opened yet. Otherwise, I would be buying corn on the cob or sweet corn, um, eared sweet corn. Um, but yeah, so I picked up two little packages of these. It's actually cheaper to buy it in the package of four than to pack it just buy one of them. Um, I think it's $2 for four or roughly 70 cents a can so it's cheaper when you buy four we have a big family we'll typically eat about two cans per meal and then last but not least i did pick up another loaf of uh, velveta i use velveta to make mac and cheese and then it also um we'll also use it in the hash brown casserole and this was not on sale and i didn't have a coupon it's $7.99. It's a bit ridiculously expensive, but it is what it is. It's good. So <laughs> that's what we got. So again, guys, here's everything that I picked up. Um, I spent a total of $177 after um, all my online coupons. And yeah. So, also, I get fuel points for those, so that's really awesome. But, anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button. We have a lot of summer plans coming up here. Um, softball will be starting back up. We have a surprise something or other that will be coming up as well that the kids have no idea for, and I am super excited for. So you're going to want to follow us. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye.